Hanna, and I'm one of the promoters for Out East Music Feast. <laughs> uh, I'm Jen Cordy, J-E-N-K-O-R-T-E. -E. Um, I have helped promote and book Out East Music Feast. And my name is Kim O'Hara. It's called K as in Kim, I as in N, M as in M. <laughs> o as in O'Hara, H as in Hara, A as in Era. And A is in ah, you is ah. <laughs> yes, totally. <laughs> and I also helped book the bands and uh, and with the promoting. Yeah. And um, how out east uh, came about was that last year there was another concert that I did with two other partners, and um, it really wasn't a vision of what I wanted this festival to be. And this year, uh, since it wasn't going the way I wanted it to go, I told those two promoters that I was going to back out. And they uh, canceled. And so I took up the date. And then I contact, contacted Kim O'Hara from Kim. Kim contacted Jen Forty. And then mm -hmm. this thing became um, put together in one month. Mm -hmm. And it's absolutely amazing with the bands and the acts. Yeah. We have some of the, a lot of very, very good bands on the bill this year. So it was very exciting. And I, I guess what we wanted to do booking-wise was to find some really strong, very talented women who may not get to play with the other women that are on the bill and kind of really work towards crossing the audience, which is what I think we're going to try to do next year as well. Um, well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming. Um, and so, I don't know, like Kim called me and we put the line out and asked if people were available and kind of went, if they aren't available, is it worth doing, trying to find people and scramble people and just kind of really came together and I'm pretty proud of what we've done for sure. And, and also the date happened to fall on uh, we had this date booked for before for August 29th, and the date happened to fall on Michael Jackson's birthday, so it just fell into that this would be um, honoring Michael Jackson's music. So Ow! each band, Shamama, <laughs> will be will be uh, performing one Michael Jackson song in their own style, and we also have a uh, dance crew uh, led by uh, my instructor at the YMCA Denver, who teaches it, Michael Jackson's Slam performing and then the whole audience gets a free dance lesson on how to do the thriller. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Which there, there was definitely a, a kind of a <laughs> toss up on What are you trying to say? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm laughing at the sound. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, a toss up on who was going to do what Michael Jackson song, so. Mm -hmm. Some of us lucked out. <laughs> Some of us didn't. <laughs> I, I'm really attempting. I'm attempting to do my. You know, song. beat it's still open. <laughs> okay, and so is uh. Well, I'll do beat it if you get up there and sing the part. <laughs> and then I'll just make up words. Don't know what Right. Gotta go on. Don't but um, on. we're expecting. Um, an array of people. We've gotten press from all major newspapers in Denver. I don't know how much press we've gotten outside of Denver, but um, that along with Facebook, MySpace, and really trying to pull the groups together to promote and just get the word out. I'm, I'm hoping, I don't know, we'll see. I'm just hoping for a full house, that's all. And actually, Jen had an amazing review from her album in the Westward that was actually a catalyst to get the, the feast in the westward. Mm -hmm. So we're really proud, and if that wouldn't you know have happened without uh, Jen's exemplary mm -hmm. CD. Um, one one other thing too is is that I think you know this year especially even though all all of the music is is female fronted, it's been a very you know everyone's welcome. We welcome everyone. And so it's it's been a very uh, you know kind of a different launch in a different direction as far as the festival goes, which is. Um, more along the lines of, you know, what we want is like, you know, here's here's all these women that are doing this stuff. Let's check it out and be supportive, and you know, but everyone can come. So it's right. not it's not just for women. 
it's all inclusive. It's all inclusive. Well, and the apps that we've picked are are pretty eccentric. Mm -hmm. uh, they're definitely different styles of music of really amazingly talented, strong, empowered women that may not ever get to play a show with Kim or play with me or and so and for me booking and then talking to Kim mm -hmm. trying to find people because we we share a lot of the same scene a lot of the same friends uh, trying to really decide what was going to be the best fit and trying to really expose those women that may not ever get the chance to play in front of this particular audience or mm -hmm. and I what I mean by particular audience just fan base they may not get to play with Angie Stevens who has this particular fan base versus somebody who plays bluegrass who has a totally different fan base so really trying to share that and find a, a, a community within that I think that just supports women who are amazing no matter what type of music that they play so yeah I agree um, none of none of the uh, genres or performers nobody is uh, greater than the sum of the parts. Mm -hmm. It's all equal, and this festival would definitely not have happened without Kim and Jen. Absolutely not, and with the acts that they got was amazing, so. We, we got ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't 